Yeah, you don't, you don't want to strengthen one hive by ruining another. All right, and okay. what do we do here, uh, Robert? So, well, we're about to put some new bees into an empty hive and get them established. This, is, this hive is empty. This is a box of bees as it came from our supplier in California. There's three pounds, or about 10 to 11,000 workers, and a queen. Um, this box actually has two queens in it. We're, we'll only use one because there can only be one queen in any hive. The other queen will be used for something else. Okay, now here on top of the box I see a couple of covers. Yeah, so, uh, this, so this yellow one with the pink tabs, when I pull it out, there'll be two cages, each of which has one queen in it. And I'll show you that when I remove them. Okay. This is just a can of sugar syrup which they pack with them when they travel in case they get hungry, which we'll remove and dispose of. Okay, and uh, the bees are all on one side because probably that's where the queens are. Exactly, they're all, they're all hanging around the queens. So the first thing I'm going to do is open the back of the hive and put about a pound of honey in here because even though it's w late enough in the year that there actually is a fair amount of food out for them, when they first arrive after traveling, they're kind of hungry and it also makes them feel a little more at home to have a little bit of a store of honey waiting. And they'll just come and take this and eat it directly from where I place it. Okay. Now, are there already bees in this hive, or this is totally it's empty? It's completely empty. Okay. We're starting a new colony. All right. So now I'm going to close this up. Yeah. I'm going to open up the middle of the hive where the bees need to go in a moment. Yeah. And so starting from the front of our hive, and we know it's the front because over here you can see the entrance, right? We're going to leave six empty top bars. Now I'm going to get the queen. I hope. Okay, so here are our queen cages. I'm gonna, yeah, just getting rid of the one we're not using. Here's your queen in a little cage, just the queen, yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna open up the bottom. Yeah. Because this is just sugar. Oh, yeah. So once the workers decide that this is their queen and that they want her as their sort of laying machine for this hive, they mm -hmm. will eat through this sugar and allow her to crawl out. Okay, great. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is hang this right between two bars like that. There she is. Okay. 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 Now the next thing I'm going to do is remove this sugar water, which we don't want to spill all over the hive. No. It's just a can. Let me get rid of it, yeah? And now I'm going to turn this box upside down and shake out the bees into the hive. Most of them are in there, and I'll just leave the box right here, whoops, so that the rest of them can find their way in. Now I'm going to close up the hive, whoops. Now generally speaking, uh, Robert, are the bees aggressive during this time, or are they pretty mild? They're actually extremely docile most of the time for two reasons. One they have nothing to de defend. When they swarm, or when you make them swarm, their, their energy is going into looking for a new home. They have no honey stores, they have no brood stored, so there's nothing really to get them too excited. So the territorial instinct really has to do with having a hive. Correct. Once they get established, then they're much more likely to care about what you do. You could almost do this with no veil because they're, they tend to be so docile at this moment. I'm trying not to make too much noise or anything that's going to offend them, but really, they've been waiting to say, where's our new home? Yes. And what they're going to do now is say, aha, here we are. Happy. Let's get settled. So, so yeah, right. what will happen is the bees that are in the hive and will start to make 
uh, a pheromone that says this is home. And, and those bees recognizes. will recognize the pheromone and recognize that it's coming from their sisters and they will then go to join them. Perfect. By the time by the, by, by the time the sun sets this evening that box will be completely empty. The first ones are already trying to explore their little entranceway right here. Yeah. That's what they do. They check it out and then they send some some scouts outside to see what's around. Is there water? Is there food? What's what, what where are we? And if you watch them carefully, some of them will also do this interesting thing where they sort of squat down and stick their butts up in the air. And what they're doing is they're taking a, a GPS reading. Yeah. They're trying to figure out where home is. Right. Because they have a built-in GPS that allows them to go off into the world foraging and know how to come home. So I'll now leave this hive alone for a week. Yes. And in about a week I'll come back and check to see if the queen is still in her cage. Hopefully they will have let her out at this point and the cage will be empty. And I'll see some new comb that they've built as well as eggs and larvae, meaning that the queen is doing her job. Within if, a week, that's already the case. Yeah. There won't be a lot, but there'll be enough to tell that everything's happening as it's supposed to. Okay. If I come back in a week and the queen is still in the cage and alive, I'll cut off the sugar part at the bottom and let her crawl out and hope that they're willing to accept her at that point. Uh, yeah. If by any chance, it's rare, but sometimes you'll come back and find that she's actually died in the cage, in which case we would immediately get a new queen from our supplier because the colony really can't exist for very long without her. Okay. That's it. All right. Bow, 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 bow,